It is a hearse of a day out here in New Zealand. Summer's here, summer's coming. Check everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another vlog. Just finished Mahi right, and the weather has been putting it on for the last two weeks or so. The heat is definitely rising and summer is coming. Upon finishing work, I got a bit peckish and I was thinking about what am I gonna have to snack. Um, and then I thought about this little snack that I used to have back at boarding school. It includes me greens, bread, and peanut butter. Today's video is going to be about boarding school munchies. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Boarding school munchies, and basically talking about like these little snacks that I or us boys back at boarding school it was an all boys school used to have like back in our dorms and stuff because we were always hungry, borderline starving. Also, I don't know if I've talked about this on YouTube before, but I've got myself a little room to myself now. It's a bit of an office setup and stuff, you know? You know, got something going on here. Before I had this set up, it was me, my partner, my cousin and her partner who used to live in this three bedroom house. They have recently moved down to Wellington, which means I have two free rooms to myself. Okay, maybe not two full rooms to myself, but I definitely got one. So now I have like one full room to myself that I can set up for my office. So when I want to do my video stuff in terms of editing, recording, and then got these three boards here to kind of brainstorm ideas for upcoming projects and whatnot, I've got that now. Give us a quick detour of your office room. All right, all right, all right. I've got you. Okay, I'll start on this wall right here. I had three project boards here and this is where I get to put my ideas down so it might be a project here and what we'll have one here I got another one going on there you know whether I have one or three projects coming up I have the ability to kind of plan and jot down ideas and just plan things out over here I've got a bit of brainstorming going on this one is me um, kind of planning out the timeline in Premiere Pro of how I'm going to do the video and then this one here this one here is actually me trying to plan out this video right here this wall here is dedicated to the projects this part here of the room is my workstation basically this is my pc that i built playstation here because i love the game um recently actually i bought the sigma lens here this is for like all the videos and projects coming up this is mainly going to be like my b-roll lens so that's why i got that and for the longest time, I've always wanted to buy a new lens to use on this camera here. So I finally got the opportunity recently to do that. That's the case that the lens came with. Then this is just camera stuff. Monitor. I think it's screen saving. Yeah. Just basic as workshop. This is like my gaming monitor. I would love to have another one for editing. Um, better colors and whatnot. But I do have my Mac, which is in my kind of bag here. Mobile backpack. It's got the laptop, Mac everything on there not too sure if you can see these properly but i use an astro a40 headset hopefully you can see that probably not and the reason why i have these headphones is because i'm really into gaming call of duty to be exact and um yeah that's for sound whoring and stuff if you know you know you know down here it's just a bit of a shelf it's got books playstation games and movies and chords and stuff down here this is a nice little chair that my partner actually got from her work. She bought because they were upgrading the office and stuff like that. So we got to get that for a bit of a bargain. So I'll stick with that because this was my original chair. I got it off the internet. I don't know. It wasn't Wish, but it was probably something like that. I oh, know it was one day sales. That's what it was. One day sales all day. Um, yeah, I got that off there. And then um, after a year or so, the rods are back on it, but now it's stuffed off and then, I don't know, it's usually just me in here chilling. But ideally, I would love, like on this wall over here, I would love like a bit of a two-seater couch or something. So if someone comes around and to discuss, say, projects, let's just say that um, they can kind of chill here. And if I had another monitor, I can kind of go through the ideas or my vision or our vision, our ideas as to how we're going to tackle the project and stuff like that. So I'd like for them to kind of chill, have a little chill area there and while we're working though obviously obviously also in like the last six months i finally decided to buy like a tripod used to be using my um where is it? no i threw it away yeah i had this i had this gorilla pod 3k i think it was and um it's kind of good for dslrs but it doesn't last very long let me tell you that if you have a dslr camera 
and you're gonna get a Gorilla Pod, make sure to get a 5K one. They're about 300 New Zealand, I think. And like, in the shops, you might get a little bit cheaper online, but yeah, they're, they're not cheap. Um, but instead of kind of buying me a new Gorilla Pod for now, I just got a nice kind of, um, and it's as simple as um, tripod. Like, there's nothing much to say about that. I put my camera on, boom, does the money. So that's one, two, this side. Okay, this is just where the closet is and stuff. Obviously, it just stores like boxes and stuff. Can't see because it it's too dark. I know my, my lens is trash, guys. My lens is just ultra trash. Bit of leftover clothes from our wardrobe. Um, this is this little things that I rip um, while learning film and video. Um, this is kind of how I create my workflow in Premiere Pro. I'm currently trying a new one at this stage, so that's kind of probably changed because the other one that I'm trying to do is going very well. Um, this is just, what is this? I like to write some things down while learning something new. So in this instance, I'm writing down the Instagram dimensions for like a post, a story, um, an IGTV and stuff. So I'm not gonna remember that at the top of my head. Maybe I should, maybe I just don't do enough videos. Trash, but um, yeah, I just write those there. That's what this one is at least. And then I used to get into shoes, remember? So this is what my shoes used to go on. I sold a few of them, but now they're just storing my like camera stuff. Got oh, stationery in there. That's just hats. These are dope ass ones from the actual um, what a Harry Potter studios. We, when we went to London, we got um, Professor Snape's, Dumbledore's, God wand, and Sirius Black one. We got about five ones at the studios there. They're about £30 each, so we dropped 3, 6, 9, 12. <laughs> Don't want to even count the next one. But that's how much we spent at Warner Bros. Warner Brothers? Warner Bros. Warner Brothers Studios, or Harry Potter Studios at least, where those people grew up, and um, it's a dope film. You have to visit the Harry Potter Studios if you ever go to London. It's dope, it's dope. Um, what else we got? Charges for stuff. Um, oh no, there's my Gorilla Pod there. Okay, so this is the OG one. It's a JB Gorilla Pod. This is the 3K one, not the best for the good old DSLRs. They get a bit heavy, but they do last for a little bit and just a little storage and stuff like that. Other than that, that's the office. Okay, back to what this video is all about boarding school munchies. Today, we're going to be snacking on some mega ring noodles on some peanut butter toast sounds like i already know thank me later thank me later now i'm not too sure where this idea originated from but we've done it back at school but it's probably like one of those things that when you go to the movies you buy popcorn and an ice cream and then obviously you get their ice cream roll it in their popcorn eat that shit Bob's your uncle you know what i mean it's, it's like it just happens kind of thing back in the days i went to hotel pole at college uh, which is an all-boys Māori Catholic school and um, most of the school or a big part of the school was that the boys were boarding there they had um, day boys or day shooters that came in from like Palmston North or uh, what's it, what is it, what is it, um, Fielding uh, but most of the school was, um, yeah, it was all boarding uh, and a lot of boys from around New Zealand would come to the school or a part of the school uh, mainly because their dads might have come to that school before them you would meet a whole bunch of different people from like the top of the North Island down to the south sometimes but mostly in North Island long story short you go to the school like kind of as yourself and you come out when you finish school with a bunch of brothers another part of my days at that school was food so um, if you could imagine like so we're boarding there right we're getting fed breakfast interval when it's school, lunch and dinner. Um, and most of the times like we wouldn't get enough to eat. Us boys being hungry boys, you know, we, we would always be hungry. And we also, after school hours, we would have this thing called um, town run, which means that like if you're good, like if you're a naughty boy, like you were never going to town, but you could basically kind of sign up on this paper to say that you want to go to town, which is a uh, building, which is like a, well, 10 minute ride from our school because our school is like out in paddocks like if you were to go out like in the area or you're traveling from one town to another and there's a whole bunch of paddocks well our school was the one that was kind of tucked into one of those paddocks 
had this long driveway with a lot of bush around it and yeah our, our school was kind of tucked in the middle of all of that and the reason we had town run was so that we could go out and buy food you could either go out and get some maccas or something get a drink or you could kind of go and buy some food like noodles drinks um, whatever you want chocolates lollies and stuff like that and then take it back to school with the warning or with the risk that you might get stepped out for it <laughs> nah nah let's say breakfast lunch and dinner this is the setup for how we ate so if you think about like american kind of cafes or cafeterias or what, what's another word, like eating halls and stuff you'll see them kind of grab trays get their plate and then um people will be serving them like food you know like you might get salad here you might get a pizza here you might get drinks here and stuff like that like that's how our um dining room there it is dining room would work um it's just like that so i'll just talk about breakfast and why we used to eat this um, quite a bit and why noodles was a big part of boarding school life to be honest so we'll roll in line up for breakfast um, I want to say like it was like 6 a.m. maybe can't really remember but it's a was like a couple hundred boys so like we had to get all those boys through breakfast within like, like a couple of hours or so before um, nine o'clock when school um, was the start so you roll in grab your tray and stuff like that on these benches would be like wheat bricks cornflakes or rice seeds maybe as well i can't really remember but definitely wheat bix so there'll be um bowls of wheat bix on this thing with two wheat bix in it and then you'll go to the next thing um you might get a bit of fruit if we were lucky like fruit salads and stuff and then after that you'll get like this little mug let me let me let me we would get a mug that'll be at the end at the other end of um the line and this would be full of milk and that was your milk to go in there and then you get your sugars and stuff like that also on this side by the milk was toast sometimes as well but you were kind of only limited to about a couple of pieces of toast because you have to share it around for all the other boys um, unless at the end of breakfast there's still a bunch of um, toast that you'll take them so you'll have your normal cereal breakfast and stuff like that but us being young hungry boys or young men whatever you want to call it um, we will always take noodles if we had some um, to breakfast lunch or dinner sometimes as well to kind of fill you up for the day as well you know otherwise you, we weren't really allowed more um breakfast after what we got you know whatever was there was there and then you had to share it out and whatnot but noodles was a big part of um boarding school straight up um bread bread like we didn't take bread into our dorms or where we slept but um what was left over in the toast trays we would take when we could if there were any left there where the peanut butter came from was that you know you have those little packets of jam marmite and peanut butter and stuff we would have that um along that line of food as well sometimes and um we would use those as well so that's what i'm going to make today basically yeah, you make it it's like normal so you make your meat rings normally back in those days i hated spicy food couldn't handle it like to save my life so i would never put like the spice in it but like the the black sauce and the oil definitely put that in back in the days though these back in the days when i was at school used to be like it was like under a dollar for sure like, i'm sure it was 50 cents for a five pack for like something like this back in the days these days they're going for like three bucks but um before we used to get these noodles we used to go to the warehouse and there were a brand called Yoodles. i'm pretty sure it was like a a green packet maybe and they were definitely chicken flavored but they were called Yoodles, and we used to put that on our peanut butter toast but um those kind of went out and then someone someone whoever did like let me know brothers uh if you were at school back in when i was there um tell me who bought me to school because once these hit school um the boys would go home for the holidays and then we would obviously get our parents to buy these things and then next thing you know the whole of new zealand was fucking with the old mega and noodles you know uh, i'm not saying we brought the wave but far once these came to our school these just spread like wildfire around new zealand oh well, i noticed it more anyway but then we ended up with these ones because they were, these were the shit these were the best noodles like back then and it's got to be blue as well if you get the red ones or those other disgusting trashy ass trash so um yeah let's whip up this bad boy first we're going to cook the noodles so we need to fill this jug up and then boil this water next slap in a couple slices of bread into the toasting machine
basically it. We got meat ring noodles, minus um, the chili that comes with it, um, and peanut butter on toast. Now, usually my favorite peanut butter doesn't really matter, but my type of favorite peanut butter is smooth. I don't like crunchy, I don't know why people like crunchy. Trash. This peanut butter from Delish, smooth peanut butter is the best because like if you put it on hot toast like it melts very nice and it gives it that nice creamy texture um before i dig into it though this is one thing that the seniors used to do back at school whenever us juniors had noodles junior years are like when you're 13 14 15 your fifth form and that's kind of like you're not a junior but you're not quite a senior so you can have a little bit of fun but you don't have a lot of responsibilities sixth form is the best it was my best year ever personally because you're senior so you have a bit of power here and there but and you're definitely not a junior um but you're not seventh form which is where you um the leader of the school so you don't have the highest of responsibilities so that's like your rebel kind of view that you can kind of have but then seventh form is like um yeah that's when like your prefix you got head boys you got to lead the school around lead the boys around um be an example and, and um be like an idol to the school basically is what you do but yeah sixth form is my favorite i started the school when i was four form i was about 14 15 um and I was there as a day student. Fifth form, I felt like I missed out on a lot of stuff at boarding school because um, there's a lot of activities like kapaka sports um, and other things that you kind of feel like you miss out when you're not at the school. When I started boarding at Hotapolda, we were dormed in like form. So third form, they had their own dorm. The fourth form students had their ones, fifth, sixth, seventh, like it went on. When I started boarding there, I was fifth form, right? My first time I ever went to breakfast with noodles, I can't really remember, but like, I was sitting with the bro Tamati, I'm pretty sure, one of my bros from back home, um, I was sitting with him and I, we had noodles here, right? Well, I had noodles and he was he just had his normal breakfast and stuff like that. And so what the seniors do back in those days, straight, I had no idea what was happening. So what they would do, say like, we were sitting here, Seniors were sitting like, I don't know, a couple of tables over or something like that. And they would kind of butter their toast and stuff and they would do this. Seniors would walk over and they would kind of just put their toast right by your noodles. So what you're supposed to do is like get some of your own noodles, put it on their toast. Something like this. Sorry, it's messy. I know, sorry. And then they would usually take the toast and then go and eat it. But in my situation, the senior brought the toast over, left it right by me and I was like, hey... And then I thought he was like giving it to me like he didn't want it or something. So what I did, I piled it up with noodles, picked it up, and then I just ate it. Like, you know, I thought it was mine. Mm. So that's what I done. I ate the toast, and then I looked across from me, and the bro timing to his eyes like light up like this, you know? Because I already ate my toast. The senior brings this toast over for some noodles. I put my noodles on it, pick it up, start eating it. And the bro's eyes light up because he's like, bro, well, I didn't know this, but in his head he's going, bro, he, he's supposed to eat that, like, that toast, you know, like, that wasn't for you, he didn't put it there to give it to me, he put it there so you could put your noodles on there for him to eat. So, I've got no more toast, I ate the senior's toast, like, it's gone, and the bro's got one there. So he had to sacrifice his toast so I could put more noodles on and give it to him before we got like hidings or something like that. Because yeah, that's what happened back in those days. <laughs> no. So yeah. Mm. Sorry. That first bite needed a second bite. You know, I like even numbers. So yeah. That was like one of my experiences at um, boarding school. Sorry for the mess. Apparently though... Last time I heard the boys were eating like kings, you know, like um, they had nice meals. Um, apparently in their dorms, we, we kind of had TVs and stuff and common rooms didn't really last very long. But um, yeah, apparently they got like Sky and um, big LCD TVs and stuff in their dorms and stuff. But like, um, it's the same thing as us. Like when we were there, we were allowed to take our games. Um, you could take your consoles at your own risk, TVs and stuff. Um, and the old boys... From when I was there, we were saying, oh, we never used to get this, eat that, and stuff like that as well. Anyway, that's what today's video was all about, was um, obviously a bit of noodles and peanut butter on toast. Um, but like a little story behind 
what kind of reminded me of my yeah boarding school days and i just kind of wanted to share a bit of my life with you on this um, platform that kind of inspired me to kind of yeah do this video and do a bit of storytelling here and there and whatnot but yeah that's going to be that video hope you enjoyed it let me know i'm going to do another one because the next one is pretty funny too i'm pretty sure someone has done it out there but this is like these kind of snacks and stuff is what we used to do like all the time for like about five four years however long you're at the school and stuff like that but yeah this was like one episode of um, boarding school munchies man I, I really enjoyed it um give it a try if you want let me know if you do and um here yeah, tell me if you like it or not other than that um that's going to be the vlog man thanks for watching um more to come have real fun um posting to this channel and platform and i uh, hope to do more obviously anyway i'll catch you in the next one Choo -choo.